right, let's take a tour of the studio. Tour of the studio. We'll start with this because it is most recent. Here's the pedal board that I made myself. I used some IKEA shelving, did a couple things to add to it just to make it sparkle a little bit, make it a little bit fancier, and it is also wireless. So if I have my guitar here, it has a receiver and I don't have to be tangled up by the cords. What I do need a cord for is this here slate microphone. There's my pop filter on a second stand so I can bump the pop filter and not ruin a good take. What am I recording these takes with, you ask? Well, it's my system. As you can see, it's a Pro Tools rig. That's a 60-inch monitor. It's really just a TV. But it works well for me when I'm across the room recording something by myself so I can still see the screen. Using an old trusty Behringer, two of them spliced together so that I can go ahead and get myself 16 tracks. I can also record 16 tracks. I have two different interfaces right there. There is my headphone amp for when I'm tracking several people at once. There's my power hub. All my power runs through that. A little bit quieter because it's a power conditioner. There's Mr. John Lennon. And there's my monitor control so I can use my Kali monitors. Or I can go mono and listen to my little mix cube. Get a little bit more light in here. That's right, I can choose what type of lights I actually want. I got my little DJ lights up at the top. So over here is my guitar rig. It is a uh, very old but very custom rig from a guy named Tommy Berlin. Here's my little mix board, so if I am miking my guitars, I put it through the mix board to get a good sound before I record. I'll usually do a DI as well as a live mic with my very old school, very cheap Marshall Solid State Amp. And there's one of two PAs. One of them I use for the main PAs, and the other one I use more just for monitors for me and everybody else in the room. And a humongous box of nerds protected by this guy and my friend's old VHS of... Rush exit stage left. I'm going to give this back to him really, really soon. I've only had it for like 40 years. There's an old guitar amp. But it's got a really great reverb. It sounds great with a Strat. And there's an extra 4x12 cabinet just when I'm ready for something different. That's my bands lately. I've been playing drums, although I, by nature, am really a guitarist. So that's my drum set. 6.5. 5 inch Superophonic, the same type used by John Bonham, and this was a 60s model, and it sounds amazing, especially when you really hit it hard enough. All different cymbals, but I'm slowly changing some of them out so I can get quieter cymbals so I don't overpower me and everybody else because I've been playing live in here a lot with other people. And of course, select albums in the back here. Got your Zeppelin, bootlegs, your Faith No More, your classic Monkees, Tom Waits, one of my favorite albums, Small Change, 2112, Changed My Life, great underrated Pearl Jam album. Oh, and here we are to the bar. That's my refrigerator, a couple of bass pedals over here, and down below is where I keep my drinks for everybody when they are ready to partake. There's a couple different guitars, that's a... Uh, 80s Fender Strat Japanese, that is a, a Gothic SG from Gibson, and that is a Gistum, yeah, Gibson, Gibson Studio Silver Les Paul, an old Squire from the 80s. Believe it or not, it's not actually wood. It's made out of some plastic resin in here, and it doesn't even have 21 frets. It is the weirdest thing. You can see where it's a plastic poured mold. That is not wood, and only 20 frets. So bizarre. 
but it was an early guitar that I've had for 35 years. There's a broken Les Paul. There's a five string bass, a couple of four string basses. Saxophone I can play a little bit, but I wouldn't really call myself a sax player. And just some random decorations. There's where I put my feet up on when I'm listening to something and just totally chilling. When I'm performing, here's the main mic that's currently turned on. I got my lyrics right here for whatever I'm looking at through the form of a tablet. And this is what I use for my audio control for whatever vocal sound I am going for. So I leave off and end with exactly where I started my new custom pedal board. That'll be it for me. Thanks for checking out something. Why would you want to check it out? I have no idea. But anyways, enjoy it nonetheless. Peace.